I'm here with David Silverstein, Technical Services for Crestron. He's going to give us a presentation that we just saw, which is generally a lot longer. It's a real condensed, high-powered presentation. So now tell our readers, sit down, buckle your seat belts, and off we go, David. Here you go. That's exactly the way it is. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of minutes here, and I want to introduce to everybody the new Adagio products that we have available here at Cedia 2006. The Adagio product line is one of the signature lines within the Crestron format. Uh, it is based around audio distribution. So everything is based around audio distribution. The difference between a Crestron audio distribution solution and everybody else's audio distribution solution is if you use Crestron as your audio distribution solution, indeed you get everything else. You want to do HVAC control, theater control, build a whole home automation package right off your audio distribution system, you can because you purchase the Adagio bundle. That's it. You start with Adagio and you can build on it. There's even an Ethernet port on the back. You can serve web pages directly from it. Hey, you want to do an upgrade and add other features to it? You can even remotely add features. You don't even have to go to the site to add additional information if you need to. Last year at CDA, we introduced a number of different products. We introduced the AADS, the AES, the AAE and the AAS. The AADS is a six zone, six source audio distribution system, 45 watts per channel at 8 ohms. The AES is a 10 source, six zone audio distribution system. The AAE gives me six additional zones expanding, so I can add six more zones. I can keep just adding AAEs as long as I want. I can have 24 zones of audio distribution before you know it. And the AAS is our audio server, gives us one, two, or four channels of audio. So I dump in my CDs, rip and spit them out the other side. But we're not here to talk about what we did last year. We're here to talk about what we're doing this year. So this year at CD, we're introducing the AMS, the Adagio Media System. This gives us 7.1 surround sound, multi-room audio, and the full power of a Crestron control system all in one bundle. So I've got 7.1 surround sound. I've got distributed audio. I've got a complete two-series processor so I can add keypads, touch panels, wireless things, whatever you need, Light, lighting control, climate control, right onto the Adagio Media Server. All right, let's get into the back of the media server. Media server does even does it indeed have video switching on board. I have an eight by two comp component video switch. I have a four by two S video switch. I have a four by two composite video switch. I also have a three by one HDMI switch. So video switching for all your different formats out to your projector display, whatever it is. Audio switching, unbelievable number of audio switching components here. First, I start with a 7.1 in, so I can do SACD or DVD audio. I have 10 stereo analog audio ins. I have 10 digital audio ins. Six of them are coax, four of them are fiber. And indeed, there are seven channels of amplified outputs at 100 watts per channel, or I've got a preamp out in case I want to do 7.1 to a larger amplifier. There's even a two channel mix down output if I want to take a two channel mix down and then use it somewhere. Rather than having radios built into the box, I have three tuner card slots available, and into those card slots I can pop dual tuner cards. I can put AM, FM cards, I can put an AM, FM, XM card, and an AM, FM Sirius card. So I can actually have six radios built into the box if I so desire. I can have AM, FM, and XM playing out of this system all at the same time. Now, because it is surround sound, i got to EQ it, so we've got the Odyssey multi-EQ system built into it. One of the concerns with EQing a system is you put a bunch of speakers in the room, the sound starts traveling around the room, it hits the walls, the floor, the whatever it is, but it doesn't stop when it hits there. It bounces off, it bounces off a bunch of different places, and it ends up coming back into the center. And when it does that, it messes the whole thing up, and it makes the whole center a big pile of mush. You can't hear what's going on. So with somebody else's system, normally what happens is you have to go out, you got to hire an audio engineer. He's got to bring a big old microphone, a scope, a bunch of tools. He makes all kinds of sound throughout the place, and then after three, four days of work, he says, here's the sweet spot you have to sit here. Not with the Crestron system. With the Crestron system, you drop a mic in each seat, you hit auto, it auto-tunes, and every seat becomes the sweet spot. So now I don't have to worry about having an engineer on site. i got a sweet spot every time. Not only that, you do it right off your computer. It gives you all the documentation that goes with it. You'll get a certification form to give to your customer to prove that it's EQ'd correctly, and you retain the value in it. You do it automatically. Not only does the Adagio Media System have a, have a surround sound system and it's got four channels of distributed audio built in, so I get 45 watts per channel to four different zones. 
So that's four different zones of distributed audio plus a 7.1 surround sound processor. Hey, maybe I'm not doing 7.1. Maybe I'm only doing 5.1. If I'm only doing 5.1, then I can take those two additional channels at 100 watts per and turn them into a sixth, fifth zone of audio distribution. Maybe that fifth zone of audio distribution really needs to be mono because I'm doing pool speakers or backyard speakers. Well, I can now create a sixth zone of audio distribution. That means within the Adagio Media System, I have 45 watts of stereo channel out to four zones. I have two zones of mono, 100 watts each, and I have 100 watts of 5.1 surround sound, all out of the one box. I need more than that, I go to the Adagio Audio Expander, and indeed I can get six more zones and just add them on accordingly. It's plug and play just like all the other Adagio products, so I can add keypads, A-pads, all those kind of things. If I was choosing it, I'd pick the, the new TPMC4X from Crestron, the home theater controller, two-way wireless remote, sit right in the home theater, control everything that's going on. Because it is an Adagio server, I can add things like iPod interfaces and the AAS, so I can have two-way feedback back and forth from my audio server and my iPod, see what music I'm playing. Now, you know, if I'm doing all that, it's a complete two-series processor, so I've got that 4X. I'm sitting there. The whole system's on. The customer says, hey, what about controlling my lights? I simply add the wireless, wireless lighting dimmers or the wireless thermostat controllers, and now I'm controlling temperature and lighting out of the same box. That's the beauty of Crestron is once you buy into the audio distribution system or the first piece, you can build the full home automation anywhere you would like. Now, we've talked about a whole bunch of stuff. We've done all kinds of audio processing, EQing, everything else. But the new AMS AIP also includes video processing. So now I've got a full scalar D interlacer built in. So now I can take this to the next level and give you absolutely the perfect picture quality every time for every possible source. Again, I have eight component video ins. i got four S video ins. I've got four composite video ins. I've even got a DVI-D input along with it, as well as three HDMI inputs. Take any one of those. We'll upconvert it to whatever format you choose all the way up to 1080p. So you got a 1080p projector you want to feed, well, up here, everything you put it out is 1080p. And not only that, now it's a single wire going up to the projector, so I can run HDMI up to the projector, I can run DVI, or if I have an older system, I need three or five wire up to the projector, I got three and five wire I can pull out of the projector. So now I am going to process it and give you the best possible picture quality available. Not only that, we have picture and picture and picture by picture built in. So I can have two pictures on the screen, position them anywhere I want. I can have graphics and images associated with it. I can even have indirect text arrive. So if I want to do an on-screen menuing system and show what's playing on my Sirius or XM tuner, I can certainly do that. Hey, maybe I'm sitting there watching a movie. Somebody rings the front doorbell. I want the front door cam to pop up on the screen and it says front door so I know where it is. Now I can see the front door cam. Not only that, that text that arrives can be translated so I can still see the movie that's behind with the text on top of it. If I was doing something not large, one of those kind of systems, I would choose the TPMC 8X. That's the 8.4 inch panel. This thing is unbelievable. Let, uh, an inch thick, made out of magnesium, super lightweight, XP embedded, surf the web right off it, stream video right to it accordingly, runs 802.11 A, B, or G. Becomes a wired Ethernet device when it's in the dock, wireless when you take it out, even has a biometric scanner on it or a fingerprint reader, so I can swipe my finger across to change the whole configuration. Everybody stores their own presets, so it doesn't matter if the kids ever figure out the password, because they can. It's dad's finger that brings up dad's presets and dad's choices. So the real question is, does this stuff replace some of the other Crestron components out there? Are we getting rid of the DAF 8s, the PVIDs, the Bypads 8s, any of those kind of things? And the answer is not at all. Although there are many solutions that we've seen here today, this is not the type of thing that you're going to build a 70,000 square foot house with. We do have all those kind of things, full form lighting control, full HVAC control, and all that kind of stuff. But there's somebody else who has to stand in front of this camera and talk to you about that. So indeed, thank you very much for your three minutes of time. David, that was... That was a tough one. They can, they can take their seatbelt off. If they need more information, we'll, we'll follow it up with, with details on the site, on your site. You can pick up the information and get a lot, a lot, more, a lot more detail than that if you want. But that was really, really super, super dense. Thank you. Thank, thank you ever thank so you. much. Thank you.